this day forward, I don't want to be labeled as a victim. That is the voice of a woman who says she was sexually assaulted last month. Tonight, we're sharing her story in hopes of bringing attention to the case and getting justice for anyone else this may have happened to who was afraid to speak up. She found balanced life massage and wellness the way a lot of people do. A friend had been to the place prior and um, had said good things. And I know had this happened to her, she would have never recommended it. A quick search on Google shows dozens of five-star reviews. This one says, Andy was fantastic. Another reads, Andy is amazing. That wasn't this woman's experience. We agreed not to reveal her identity due to what she says happened at the spa. Was just in an extremely inappropriate place, this touching. And then, you know, when it was time to turn over, he did give me the dignity of to at least have the sheet over as I turned over like a normal massage, but then it was off for the rest of the massage. You were completely exposed? Ex completely exposed, front and back, yeah. This is Kula Voodie Kasim Voodie, also known as Andy, the man she trusted to give her a massage. I've gotten myself out of some pretty scary situations, but nothing has compared to this. And I always thought I would be the person that would fight, but I've since learned that what I did was freeze and I've learned that that's common. Unfortunately, it's common, so that's what I did was just kind of froze. Those are the scary types of situations because victims really put themselves in very vulnerable situations when they're being uh, given a massage. The affidavit on file in Johnson County states she reported Andy massaged her butt between her legs, describing him squeezing her breasts during the appointment. It's disgusting. It's it's disgusting to think, think back about, but... Kasim Voodie is charged with one count of sexual battery. The Olathe Police Department is investigating. Detectives have already received multiple calls from other women alleging experiences just like this one. We've got at least a half dozen other uh, individuals that have reached out to them. And we're hoping with continued publicity that we might be able to empower other women to come forward and let the police know what has happened. The more people that can come forward, and whether it be this man specifically or another place in town that's doing this, it has to be stopped. It, it, it's not okay. It's not acceptable. And yet it's not the person's fault. And I'm not blaming people for not coming forward because it is scary and people process things differently, but it needs to be done. And I, I personally have nothing to gain except for the satisfaction that I'm hopefully helping many others because it's not just coming forward. That's not where it stops. Then you have to get the help that you need. But every day since then, is hard. It's not something that you just snap your fingers and it goes away, but it's something that stays with you for a, a long period of time. She's fighting for justice, giving herself a new name to represent her resilience. I do not want to be labeled as a victim. Yeah, definitely it would be an overcomer. We are showing you Kasim Booty's mugshot because, as the DA mentioned, investigators believe other women may have had a similar experience at Balanced Life Wellness and Massage. Oh, late the police are standing by and ready to take your call. We've got information on how to get in touch at KSHB.com. Kasim Booty posted bond, and his license to operate at Balanced Life Wellness and Massage is suspended. He's due in court for an arraignment on Friday. We contacted both him and his attorney. They declined comment.